I'm Dr. Sue Hamilton and I wanted to talk to you today about beautyberry, calicarpus as it is botanically known. Um, even in Latin, calicarpus means beautiful berry, which gives rise to the common name of beautyberry. Uh, all, there's four different species of beautyberry that are uh, commercially produced and available at your garden centers and nursery, and any one of them are, are great for your landscape. They all typically uh, grow to about the size that you see here um, in that three to five or six foot uh, tall height as well as uh, width. Um, and then their big thing is the arching branches and the form. It kind of reminds me of a forsythia, only it's all about the, the fruit that the plant produces in September, October, rather than a flower. Uh, this beautyberry flowers on new wood and so the flowers are set in the summer months and then um, they, they lead to these uh, beautiful berries that are formed in clusters all up and down the branches as you see here. And you can see uh, no color uh, that leads into the, the intense violet even uh, magenta color of the uh, fruit. Now beauty berries are deciduous shrubs so the foliage will drop off and the foliage that you see here is just beginning to turn. It will turn a uh, bright yellow and then the, the foliage will drop and even the, the fruit will even be more striking and more noticeable in the landscape. Um, Beauty Berry does best in full sun. Uh, it'll, it'll produce more flowers, more fruit, uh, but it can tolerate partial shade, even a, a, a woodland setting if it can have a little bit of sunshine throughout the day. Uh, it's very forgiving as far as soil. Uh, rich organic matter in a well-drained soil would be ideal, but they're very tolerant of a range of soils.